we have this interesting and interesting, interesting, interesting. <laughs> this is one of the most hilarious stories I've seen on social in maybe a minute. So this is courtesy of the TMZ. It says Gorilla Girl hairdo. I still can't get this glue out after ER might be time to sue. So if you're not familiar over the last what week or so, this viral video went across um, or spread of obviously on social media of this uh, black girl who mistakenly had applied Gorilla Glue to her hair in order to slick it back in this sort of like ponytail style. Um, I'm not sure if she accidentally saw it on her counter and thought it was whatever shampoo she used or she bought it in the shop thinking it was another brand and then brought it back and whatever. Something happened that she decided she wrongfully applied Gorilla Glue, which is meant to be one of the most strongest glues, sort of like a PV, a clear, I'm not saying PVC, whatever the clear type of glue that you call it, right? You rub on your hands, you rub and you can put two random things together, right? Similar to super glue. And she put that in her hair, and of course, now she can't, you know, get her hair free from then on. But in such odd turn of events, it went into everyone kind of feeling really sorry for the girl. I'm sending her sympathy, you know, out there. And then she went up and set up a GoFundMe, which, you know, is a little bit exploitive, but it makes some sort of sense, you know, regarding uh, the public, the outpouring of public support that existed on there. And then she went to a doctor. She kind of got, a, you know, she kind of got a consultation and, and we saw that happening. And she went back home and you saw her trying to apply whatever treatment she was giving her in order to get the thing off. And it just seemed like there was some sort of resolution being heard. But, you know, by the end, that was what we kind of got to. But then now we're at a point where, a young lady who made such a mistake that she made herself right no one told her to put in this hair this good no one's ever suggested you should apply gorilla glue to your hair in any way shape or form she's now got to a point where she's deciding to sue the company that makes the glue because of what because guess what on the bottle the company made a grave mistake of not um correctly or clearly putting on the bottle that it says it's non-suitable for hair because who would think about putting a super glue in the hair in the first place? Um, so now, you know, as as um, idiotic as they may seem, she might legitimately have a case. She might be able to get some money off this because this kind of reminds me a little bit of that story from ages ago relating to the McDonald's coffee cup, right? Of that young, of that, I think it was an elderly lady who put the coffee cup between her legs as she was driving away. Um, it poured out and spilled and gave her third degree burns or something right and i think that might have to do something with the lid or the cup or something that they had to change but then of course in the in the court they end up settling and paying her you know millions many many millions so that was basically what set for that precedent of maybe putting on lids or holders or the cup design something or maybe the temperature of the coffee itself regardless of what it was there was a little window in there even though the old lady shouldn't have been putting a a mug of coffee you just purchased from a shop in between your legs as you're driving away still don't get me wrong it's still maybe majority her fault the fact that it led to third degree burns is probably a bit excessive and um i guess the fact that this bottle doesn't specifically specify you should put in your hair she might get some room for it but there's a part of me that thinks come on man and now she's got verified on, on Instagram. It's like, this is absolutely insane. But let's read the story here. Um, let's actually read the, the actual original bit. And we can go back up here. It says, uh, the TikToker who put Gorilla Glue in her hair still is having, is, is still living in her grandmother's, her, sorry, her nightmarish mistake. Uh, the glue brand's remedies aren't working. And now she's lowering up. Sources familiar with the situations tell TMZ, Tisha's um, Brown's weekend trip to the ER uh, was an, another disaster. And a Gorilla Glue tip to use rubbing alcohol to remove the product was a colossal failure. On our sources say uh, Tisha spent 22 hours in ER and the staff were dumbfounded. We're told healthcare workers put acetone on the back of her head, but it burned her scalp and only made the glue gooier before hardening back up. Oh my God, what a nightmare. That must hurt so badly to put acetone on your hair with super glue on it. Holy shit. Tisha, um, we're told, was instructed to keep her uh, trying to potential remedy back home, but rubbing alcohol doesn't prove the cure. Now, is she only doing this because she wants to keep her hair? Because the logical thing to do would be just to shave it all off, right? But I guess maybe shaving it would hurt, right? But it would it hurt as much as just trying to... Cause it looks, it seems like she's trying to save her actual hair follicles on her head, but she has to come to the conclusion that that time now is gone. Your hair is finished. 
it might grow back in in a period of time you know unfortunately for black people hair this length does take a long time to grow depending on you know um your genes of course but usually it's not gonna you know she's not gonna get her hair back how it was prior in a year or whatever but there is an option just to kind of shave it off you just shave it off standard and keep it moving but i assume it's probably a lot more difficult than it seems it says here um tisha we're told was instructed to keep trying the the that's her keep trying uh remember tisha said that says her hair has been rock solid for about a month after substituting gorilla Grus adhesive spray for her normal hairspray oh my god so she obviously had it on her shelf she made the mistake herself um, Gigi told us the quickest possible remedy is rubbing alcohol our sources say um tisha's hair tisha tied an attorney and is weighing up illegal options against gorilla glue and um, we're told the label on the product she used to do not use uh, on says oh it says do not use on eyes skin or clothing with no mention of hair which tisha is misleading come on <laughs> She made the mistake. She grabbed the wrong bottle and sprayed on her head. And then she went and looked at the bottle. Ugh. But look at that, man. That is insane. Gigi says all the products are considered permanent and the packaging state. So, uh, but we're told Tisha felt it was okay because the products had more to use. Oh my God. So what's the thinking? And the actual logical thinking is that somehow super glue or setting glue or whatever it may be if you get a tiny bit of it on your hair it makes it shiny i guess is that the point of it it doesn't make any sense to me personally it sounds like a very high risk low reward game to play personally god damn it this already car funded for a crowd bills or go find me she raised nine thousand and counting which is fair going off in it because you know again um it's america there is no uh, free health service um there's no there's no free health care and i'm assuming the the cost of getting this treatment hospital is going to be astronomical especially because it's something that no one's ever seen um but god damn it imagine raising nine grand for a mistake that you made yourself and then going to sue the company because they didn't clearly label the the, the product don't put in your hair what next don't ingest let's continue what's the update here it says gorilla glue um says tisha saga is a unique situation here this is their quote from gorilla glue company themselves they quoted uh the following on on um, twitter this is their statement it says we're aware of the situation and we are very sorry to hear about the unfortunate incident that miss brown experienced using our spray adhesive on her hair this is a unique situation because the product is not indicated for use in or in or on hair as it is a considered permanent our spray adhesive states in the warning label do not swallow do not get in eyes skin or on the clothing it is used on craft home and auto office supplies mount things to surfaces such as paper cardboard wood laminate and fabric we are glad to see in her recent video that miss brown has received medical treatment for med local medical facilities and wish her the best of course you know that isn't enough nowadays you have to do everything you can to squeeze and shame these companies into bending to your very needs and this is what she's going to end up doing but god damn the company says it's sorry da, da, da. but god damn what situation i think the last i saw online i think she actually did start cutting her hair i think someone cut off a ponytail so i think maybe the acetone or something worked i don't know what ended up working but what a tragic situation in it like of all the times to be in this sort of predicament it's during the lockdowns maybe the worst and maybe the best because people i think people's um capacity for empathy is maybe heightened more that we're going through this tragic situation right with um obviously this virus that we're all living under um so people are more willing to be a little bit more sympathetic to people's plights regardless of what they are but this is self-inflicted in it right we should not really really be going out of our way to you know save this girl from the situation like she kind of got herself into us her, you know she should kind of get herself out of it this is like a um but it's such an american thing this isn't it right you you some you, uh, you make a mistake but you get other people to pay for it right essentially this is a very american thing to do and again maybe some good will come out of it maybe it will lead to this what, what's it gonna lead to where they're gonna start changing their label to specifically say don't put in your hair when no one in the history of gorilla glue has ever put a, a, applied in their hair as saying spray like you know she doesn't look the, she doesn't look like i don't know maybe it's just a video but she doesn't look like the most uh mentally st st uh, stabilized woman in the world does she mate but i don't know man i don't know let's let's i guess let's pray for the best and see what happens she's definitely going to get paid regardless um you know we have made worse things 
as a society we've made worse things um as a global community we have made um worse things popular and successful and if she's you know getting some coins out of this situation which is very unfortunate but also self-inflicted who are we to judge i guess who are we to judge <laughs>